Welcome to the Swish Mobile Site Builder. Uh, you'll be able to build uh, mobile websites very quickly, customize all the colors um, with this piece of software. So what you're looking at right now is uh, uh, the download that you'll get in, um, in the Swish Mobile Site Builder. You'll have these five files. This one here is not a video file, so don't uh, click that. All you need to worry about is this one, the application file. So you'll double click uh, that one. Um, in actual fact, uh, the best would be to right click and choose run as administrator to start with because then you won't need to keep putting in your license details each time you run the software. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is put in your uh, email address and your password. Uh, the license key will have been given to you uh, um, at the time of purchase or, or time of registration. Um, you'll receive it in an email. Um, if there's any problems, just contact the support desk. Right, uh, you click OK and the software opens up. Now, building a website is ultra easy with um, the Swish Mobile Site Builder. Basically, all you need to do is fill in the blanks. Um, I'm going to open up a project so you can um, see exactly how it's done uh, more quickly so I don't waste your time. So when you've created a, uh, a site you can save it and that way if you need to make any changes in the future you can just open it up as I'm doing here. Uh, find the site, find the, um, uh, the project that you've been working on, so I'm using here Have Your Dentist and then click OK. Now what it's doing is pulling in all of your um, all that you've done previously. So all you would do building the site is as I say fill in the blanks. Here it's asking for business name so I put in the business name and then uh, now the next one is the header. Um, now you, all you would do is uh, uh, you click on there and go and find your your header there's my header there. Um, try and make it uh, around 700 wide by 250. If you're using a .png, which is uh, for a transparent background, it won't be as critical. The image will resize to fit the page. So you select the image and then you just go on answering the questions. What's the telephone number? Um, if the business is going to be expecting calls from overseas, make sure you use um, the international dialing code number either it can be 00 or the plus sign and then the country code um, then you click next now it's going to ask you if you want to if the business has a, a Facebook fan page uh, this one does so you click uh, yes then you put the, um, the Facebook name now you'll find that that's the end of the uh, Facebook URL um, so um, let me quickly show you. Hold on, I'll just bring that down a bit for you. Okay. So you can see the Facebook uh, URL of the fan page, and all we need to do is take this part here after the Facebook.com. If they don't have a uh, Facebook domain like this, there may be uh, a domain that looks like uh, Facebook pages and then a series of numbers. Well, if, if that's the case, just select everything after the facebook.com slash. Uh, okay, so that's um, uh, for Facebook. You can see that's what I've done here. Uh, then we're going to have a look at Twitter. So we say yes. And again, we, all we have to do is go to Twitter and use the Twitter handle, which uh, again is what appears after the uh, uh, twitter.com. Um, then we'll have uh, Google Plus page. Uh, in this case they don't have it so I'm not going to include it but the same principle would apply there and also um, we've then got a YouTube channel or uh, video now uh, I'll put yes for a YouTube channel uh, although they don't have one uh, I'll show you what you could do if, if they don't have one uh, you could put the video um, which um, let me again show you on the um, on the browser so if we go to YouTube, we 
put in Happy Dentist and we take okay so all we have to do here is put in what is ever uh, whatever is after the youtube.com slash which you can see is the watch question mark equals and then the YouTube video ID so coming back to the program that's what I've done here uh, LinkedIn profile is exactly the same principle uh, then we start with the content for the about page and again you just paste that in now important thing here is uh, you must use some HTML code to separate uh, paragraphs and the, the way to do this is in the user manual uh, you just use these codes here there's two break lines and that will uh, that will make a two line break between this paragraph and this paragraph and again you can see I've done the same there you can use any H HTML you like again it's in the user manual you can use uh, italics bold um, anything you want basically so after that we go for uh, we're going for SEO so we're looking at keywords so we put a keyword for the um, a title of the home page this is not going to be seen by by anyone except for uh, Google and the search engines um, again we put in a uh, brief description this is not going to be seen by anyone this is a meta tag again only seen by search engines um, and then finally we put in keywords for meta um, for the mobile site again this these are keywords that are not going to be seen by anyone except the search engines um, right onwards to the contact name for the business we put in the domain for the mobile site that's where you're going to um, put the mobile site now you could either get a dot mobi or what uh, a lot of people do also is um, just create a subdirectory on the main domain so if the domain uh, was have the dentist com for the mobile you could create a subdirectory and just call that M for example and that would be fine and that is where you're going to upload the mobile site when you're finished as this is a dot mobi I'll put it back to dot mobi there we go um, the next thing is contact email for the uh, contact form um, now you have to dis, uh, decide if you want a click for SMS so I'm going to put no if you selected yes it will create a click for SMS on the contact page same goes for Skype you can have a click to Skype um, right now we put the address in and um, next for the um, directions and map it's uh, uh, useful to have uh, the longitude and latitude uh, of where the business is uh, rather than just relying on the zip code so what you do is this um, we go to the browser and we're going to go to uh, itouchmap.com and all you do is um, at the top here you'll see you can put in the address click go and then come down and this is where you'll see the latitude and the longitude so we're going to put those in here the latitude goes there the next one's the longitude paste in there then we put in a prompt for the directions button now um, you can change this of course if you for a different language you put whatever you want in there find us um, any words you want that's going to indicate how people can can get to the business um, okay now we start doing the color codes um, the first thing will be the background uh, of the pages now to choose your color codes the easiest way is to go to the HTML color code uh, site which um, okay here's the uh, uh, let's put it make it a little bit bigger for you is the HTML color code site um, so you go to this URL and it's really easy you uh, select your color for example if I wanted uh, this gray here you click that and the code will come up here what you do is you copy that code but don't bother copying the hashtag so you're just going to take the letters and you're going to paste it in there the same will happen for the background of the header normally it's going to look best if the header and the uh, body 
of the page are, are exactly the same. But you can play around with this. As I said, you can save your project and come back and change these and it will create a different. Um, then you're going to want to choose the color of the font for the pages. So uh, in, in exactly the same way, you go to the HTML color code and this is black. Six zeros are black. Um, then the color code for menu buttons. You decide what the menu. Now, of course, if the menu buttons are are dark, then you want the font, the color for the font, to be light. Much e it's easy to read. It's a bit of common sense, really. Similarly, if the uh, uh, menu buttons are light, then you want the color of the font to be a dark color. So um, uh, insert the color code for the rollover menu. Now, this is where um, the colors change when you put your um, mouse over the over the button or on a mobile if you put your finger over so let's have a look just so you've got an idea of what we're talking about so you can see as the mouse goes over it changes color we've chosen a color for the rollover and then we're going to use the color for the font on the rollover so again going back to the uh, website you can see the, the color of the font changes to this uh, reddish color or plum then you can create a, a border for the menu as well if you don't want a border then just use the same color as the background of the page and now it's asking for the HTML color for the uh, buttons these will be the click to call buttons and click to Skype and so forth so if we go to the page here this is the color the button that we're looking at yeah uh, now we go for opening hours now sometimes a shop might be opening hours a salon might be opening hours but a business you know might be office hours or business opening time so you can change what you want to, uh, the title to be and then you just put in the business hours for the days of the week obviously they might change for, depending on the business type and what they're doing next one is page for testimonials so you could again you can change the title instead of testimonials you might want reviews um, so you can put in whatever word suits the business and then you will put in the testimonials again we could, uh, it's important to use uh, HTML code to separate the lines. It's very simple. Just use that there for a, a single line break and that for a double line break. And if you want to spice it up with italics or bold or whatever you want, you can just stick in the code there and take a look at the user manual. Or you can also go online and, and, and have a look at HTML code. Very simple. You don't need to, great technical knowledge to, to just paste these in there. After that, it's asked if you want to have an extra page, and I'm going to select no. Uh, if we select yes, then we're going to create a title for the page and put the content in. But for speed, I'll say no. And then, do we want a video page? Uh, you can select yes or no. I'm going to select yes. And then, what we're going to need to do is give a title for the video page. Now, again, you can put in whatever title you want. You could call it presentation or whatever might be relevant. Um, then you're going to put in the ID of the uh, YouTube video uh, that I showed before. So we don't need the watch and all of that before. You literally just put in um, the YouTube ID. Now, if you want to put a subscription page in, then you can select here. Um, in order to have a sus subscription page, you will need to register with an email autoresponder service like Aweber or GetResponse. And if you were to have a subscription page again all you do is click in yes and then put the, the subscription code that you'll get from Aweber or your autoresponder service on the page so we go forwards and then finally we put the uh, Google Analytics code this is optional if you don't want to put it in don't put it in but it's quite useful because you can then track visitors to your mobile site okay once that's done you just click finish and then you're going to select a, a folder to you make a new one or here's I've got one already and just click OK and then your your site will be built for you it will tell you where it is so there is your mobile site how it will appear on a mobile will be probably something like that so you can see pretty neat site looks uh, looks nice and professional you can see how quick it and easy it is to do and that's all there is to it. Once you've once you've done that, all you need to do is uh, upload it to your web server, and and you're done. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any uh, questions, just feel free to contact us.